Hello guys, welcome back to this week's episode of TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. This here is Chaplain Andrew to teach you the unchangeable and unfailable Word of God. Listen for this theme song and you'll know. It's me, hello podcast land. Hello guys, we are live again here, I know. We were just live yesterday, but we are live, live, live again. Like I always say, it won't be not, it will not be the same if we were recorded live, live, live. Because it just does not have the ring as live, live, live. So how are we doing today? What is up in your lives? We are here. <clears throat> we made it. Be aware though, tomorrow we might have a power failure going on at our house. Because we got a winter weather advisory going on, and it's going to be some freezing rain or whatnot. And uh, DTE, I guess, or Dominion Energy down here is looking at some power outages and gave us some little tips in case we have any power outages. But but we're here. Hold on. We are here, here, here. So let's get the show on the road, starting with a few but brief announcements. Starting with number one, <clears throat> go to community code 222 at gmail.com. Spelled C O M M U N I T Y C L O U D 222 at G M A I L dot C O M. And guess what you can do right there? Well, first, you can send me all your prayer requests. Even if you want to shout out to you on the podcast, send me your first name, your city, and your state. And I'll shout out to you on TGIF for Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. <coughs> also, guys, be aware that you can call us at 1-302-448-8443. Again, that's 1-302-448-TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. Also, be aware, we're doing it again next week. Next week's episode outside of the classroom Wednesdays, where we do nothing where we take Dr. Scott's message from outside the classroom to those who need the gospel each and every day. Also, guys, we're doing it this week right now, this week's episode of Kingdom Collaboration Thursdays, where we take Pastor Lance and Ernesto Travis's message from outside the classroom to those who need the gospel each and every day. Also, guys, be, be, be vitally aware. We're doing this week's episode this week of Worship Saturdays, where we do nothing but praise, prayer, and worship. Grab your favorite drink, relax in your favorite lounge chair, and enjoy the fabulous music we here have on the show. And that's all we do is praise, prayer, and worship. That's Worship Saturdays. Also, guys, be aware, <clears throat> be vitally aware that we are going to start the Rumble, just not yet. We're working on the New Year stuff getting outside the classroom and Kingdom Collaboration Thursday is a little bit more of a start. And then we'll start the Rumble soon after that. Let's look forward to the Rumble. Also, guys, be aware that you can download that app. It's absolutely 100% phenomenal. I guarantee you to like it. It's called Podcast Portal, spelled P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L. Again, that's P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L. Available on the Google Play Store, the Amazon App Store, and the App Toy Market. And guess what you can do right there? Well, first off is, guess what you can do on that app? Well, you can do, you can, first off, you can listen, like, subscribe, comment, and download every single episode straight from the app. Also, now you can only download the episode once I'm done going live. You can listen to me live, too, on the app. Also, when I'm not live, what else you can do is you can view the, the uh, chapters button. Right on the logo, you click on the chapters button like a little book. Or an information symbol, but usually it's a book. And it tells you everything that was on the show. All the music being played, the title of each song, and the message title and everything. So, enjoy that part. Also, you can connect with us through Facebook, Twitter, and email. Bottom right-hand corner of any page is the email button. Just click on it. And then follow the prompts of clicking your email client, you know, clicking always, all that fun stuff. And then typing your email and hit send. Next time you go to it, it's that quick. It takes you right straight to the email. 
You can also DM us on Twitter, and you can even view the Facebook page we got with blogs and everything that are for some of the shows. We're working on getting more of those uh, updated as well, but look forward to that as well. You can also listen to the four play buttons, 95.5 The Fish from Cleveland, Ohio, KJIC out of Texas, my former church, Evangel Christian Church, is my former church down here, Portis Community Chapel. For 95.5 The Fish and KJIC, just click the button. It plays the radio station. For Evangel, click the Evangel button. It looks like a big, it says Evangel right on there. Just click on the Evangel button. It says Evangel right on there. It takes you to your YouTube page. Just click on the video you're seeing and hearing the videos. And with Portage Community Chapel, the abstract color button, I call it. There's some blues, greens, browns. It's right under the right under the Evangel button. It's like an abstract color button. Click on it. And it takes you to their about viable page. Click on where it says videos. Click the video that does not say upcoming. And then click on the play button. You're instantly seeing and playing their videos as well. Right straight in the app. Never have to leave the app to do so. Also, guys, <clears throat> so that way if you're chatting with somebody, you don't have to uh, stop, get out of the app to listen or to, to listen to one of their messages or whatnot for the radio stations. Also, guys... What you can do is my favorite part of the app is portal chat, where you can chat with everyone who owns the app. If 500 people own that app, you can chat with 500 different people around the world. You can send pictures. You can even uh, private message anyone on the app. Now, be vitally aware, you have to have an account to send pictures. That's just one of the rules I have is you have to have an account to send pictures. That's just to keep everyone else safe. Now, to PM everyone and to message anybody, you don't have to have an account. You can just put Susie Smith, Joe Blow, whoever you want to put down there. You can chat with us. Now, be careful, though, with the private messaging because <clears throat> not everyone who says they're Christian is actually Christian. Like I say all the time, the devil comes as a wolf in sheep's clothing, the Bible says. And it also says, everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will not enter into my kingdom. So if you see anything that's inappropriate, hear anything that's inappropriate, or they send you some graphic pictures of whatever violence, sexual nature, whatever the case is, just let me know. And then when I, you let me know, I will, uh, I will, uh, I will uh, warn them. Then if they do the same offense again, let me know, I'll ban them for a week. Let me know one more time, and they'll ban them for eternity. They can never go back on to the portal chat again. They can view the app and view all the stuff that's in there and listen to the music and all that and listen to the show, but they won't be able to use the portal chat feature at all. So let me know what's going on, and I'll be happy to assist you in any way, shape, or form that I can. Because that's what I'm here for. I'm here for you guys. You are the listener, and I'm here for you. So enjoy it. <clears throat> also, guys, what you can do on the Portal Chat feature, you can send links. I got a link right now to one of my favorite, favorite gospel songs by the Gaither Vocal Band, which I can't play on the show. But I can, uh, I can add a new one if I wanted to. So I'm going to try to add a new one. I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to delete message. There we go. And then I'm going to refresh the page. I'm going to put a brand new song there so you guys have something good to listen to. And it may not be the same artist. It might be something totally different of an artist, but it is going to be a great song. I'll do like the song of the week. I'll start that from now on. This is going to be a blessing for you guys to hear something encouraging. I give you something encouraging every week. All my guests like Dr. Scott, Pastor Lance, and Ernesta Travis, everyone, everyone has, um, um, everyone has a great thing that they do for you guys. But, even more encouragement can't hurt. You cannot hurt with even more encouragement. So, I'm going to do that ASAP. And so that was Podcast Portal. And hey guys. One last thing to remind you, ask your Alexa device, say Alexa, open Podcast Portal, and she'll say welcome to, or, or welcome back to, Podcast Portal. 
where you can listen to this very show straight from your Alexa device. You also got that skill for your video Alexa devices as well. Again, say Alexa, open Podcast Portal, and she say welcome to or welcome back to Podcast Portal. And that does, guys, conclude our announcements for today. Let's get into our main song of the show, and I got a great one for you to start the show with. A fabulous song, and it's from a great artist. Every artist I have on here is great. Now, some artists are not, you know, absolutely drop dead 100%. Oh, man, I'm going to rock out with them. But the, every artist I got on here is great. And we're going to start off with Celebrate by none other than the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Again, it's called Celebrate. Enjoy Celebrate. <laughs> There you go, guys. That was celebrated by none other than the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Let's get into today's message from Pastor Lance and Ornissa Travis. 
on this week's episode of Kingdom Collaboration Thursdays. Enjoy the message. God bless your name. You was the Hallelujah. Every day you was the His grace, yes, yes, yes. for His anointing. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Glory to God. And uh, I just thank God so much for uh, gifted <laughs> vessels. As uh, Pastor Eric was just really uh, exhorting and, and actually yes, boring. Yes. Um, one of the things I just really heard the Holy Spirit speak to me was about the warfare. And it's interesting how that we think uh, that it is unfair. Uh, that the enemy comes with onslaughts and uh, how that he uh, unawares uh, sins attacks and, and how he goes after uh, the things that seem to be uh, the weakest or uh, the most isolated and uh, we fret because we think it's unfair and it just leads me to believe that we think that it's unfair because we don't understand the advantage that we have and when you think about it, actually, with the advantage that we have, it is unfair to, to the enemy. Because no matter what he does, hallelujah, and this is what I want to talk about a little bit about today. No matter what he does, it's all been paid for and covered by the blood, uh, which is to say that no matter what he comes with, no matter what accusation, attack, what he stirs up, glory to God, that because of the blood, it's rendered ineffective. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And listen, not only the blood, but even what God's given us with his word. Hallelujah. Because the enemy can come with the most diabolical, the most devastating thing. But God's word told us already Hallelujah, that no weapon no that's formed weapon. against us yeah. will be able to prosper. Yeah. No weapon. See, I think sometimes we forget and we think that it's a great disadvantage to us, but you don't understand. <laughs> How can you be disadvantaged when the fight's already been won? Yeah. The fight's been fixed. Come on, how can you be disadvantaged when the fight is fixed? The battle is already won. The victory's already been yeah. given to you. Yeah. Don't you understand that you cannot lose as you walk in faith, as you trust God and rely upon what Jesus has already done? No, 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 not what he's going to do. And thank God for the prophetic word. Yeah, there's breakthrough coming, there's blessing, uh, supernatural miracles and manifestation of signs and wonders. All that's going to happen this year. Coming is going to be amazing. But listen, you yeah. still win today. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Amen. See, see, and that's where your faith has got to be at. Yeah. To understand and believe that before 2023 yeah. even gets here, oh, you win yeah. today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The victory is yours today. Thank you, Lord. And the crazy thing I was talking to somebody earlier uh, about victory is that it don't have to feel like victory no. to be victory. Amen. That's right. It don't even have to look like victory Amen. to well, be victory. Glory to God. Amen. See, we get caught up and we look at the stuff that's going on and we judge it by this world's standards or our feelings and emotions. Because the thing about the victory that's already been won, you can be flat on your back in a bloody mess. Uh, you got to understand that actually that's the key, being a bloody mess. But anyway, you can be flat on your back, glory to God, and the referee counting you out. But the story never changes that you win. All right. Amen. <laughs> even when you that something, isn't that something? Even yes. when you're being counted out, you win. 
If it counts one, two, three, you still win. Come on, if the rep counts to ten and your knees are wobbly and you can't stand up, you still win. I bet y'all get the picture of me. You still win. Hallelujah. That's right, sis. No matter what. You got to believe that. Your your faith has got to be there. No matter what. Now, that's the kind of thing that helps you to not give up, to not quit. Glory to God. Because if you think that there's a chance that you might lose it, hallelujah, then up, glory to God, you might want to quit. But when you really believe, that no matter how bad it gets, I still win. And therefore, what it does, it, it stirs up within me the faith that I cannot quit. Come on, anybody got that kind of faith today? I can't quit. Not only will I not quit, not only am I saying I won't quit, but I can't quit. I I cannot quit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I can't quit because I understand that I win. And I win every time. Every time. Come on, can you say that with your faith? I win every time. I win every time. Every time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's enough to shout about. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I saw when somebody wrote and said that I never lose. Said I win all the time because either I win or I learn, but I never lose. <laughs> I either win. Or I learn, but I never lose. Glory be to God. My God. Hallelujah. Now, I've already said enough today. Jesus. But I'm not quick. <laughs> I've said enough. But I'm not quick. Thank you, Lord. Uh, and uh, again, it is certainly my uh, intention, heart's desire um, to share with you just a few words here um, uh, from the Word of God. And just want to really encourage your hearts before we leave this place. Um, I'm going to speak today from Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3. I really want to encourage you. Thank you. I want to encourage your hearts today. And I uh, want to also, as a way of announcement, uh, say that we will not be here next Sunday afternoon, which is Christmas Day. And uh, the following Sunday. some time with yourself. Uh, sometimes you gotta learn how to treat yourself good. Because if you can't be good to you, you sure can't be good to nobody else. Oh, maybe I got another message. Glory to God. If you always beating up on you and think you're not good enough, amen, and not deserving and not worthy, amen, inadequate, and, and just wanting to throw the towel in on you, uh, then glory to God, what you going to do with somebody else? Look at somebody and say, that'll preach. <laughs> My God, I feel something talking about that. Hallelujah, that's right. You got to learn how to be good to you. Don't you understand that you get a whole lot of practice on being good to somebody else by practicing on yourself? Because if you don't give yourself a chance, nobody else even stands a chance. All right. That's right. Thank you. Tell somebody that's wisdom. 
sir. Come on. If you don't give, let me say that again. If you don't give yourself a chance, then nobody else even stands a chance. And furthermore, if you don't give yourself a chance, what you doing with somebody else? Uh oh. Oh, that's real talk. I'm gonna say real talk. You know, what's the purpose of being with anybody? If you won't give yourself a chance. Come on, tell somebody, give yourself a chance. Come on, tell them, give yourself a break. Give yourself a break. Oh, oh, I'm saying something. I'm saying something. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yeah, give yourself a break. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. No wonder. Amen. Uh, around the holidays, folk go to hide. They go into another room or the other part of the house and find their friends to hang out with because they know, amen, how brutal you are with yourself and they understand what it is is coming their way. And that does bear repeat. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that, that was that was so good. I won't even take credit for that. One. Uh, Pastor Eric said, "Why, glory to God, you want me to? Uh, uh, I'm not gonna like you, and I don't even like myself." Yeah. And and uh, real talk though, it is really important to learn how to get along with you. Amen. It really is. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I like me. I love me. Yeah, I do. I, I like me. Yeah. See, I love me because God told me to, and he gives me the ability to do it. But according to, and by my own will and choice, I like me. See, because I've seen the stuff that I came through and still stand. Oh, I like me. done in your life when you look at who you are. Let Amen. me say that. When you look at who you are and whose you are, you got to get to the point where you look at my in the mirror and say, yeah, I like me. I like that guy in the mirror. I like no, I'm not talking about narcissism. I mean, no, 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 no. I'm talking about I like it. When I look over the 61 years, when I look at trauma, abuse, crisis, neglect, bad decisions, mess ups, glory to God, and see that I still have the character of God, see that I still have a prayer life, an anointing is yet on my life, I'm yet called, I yet love God, and yet love people. I like that dude. Yes, God. All right. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Knowing that there are too many times, and there are too numerous to count, the times that the enemy has tried to snuff out my life. Ah, and yet that. I'm still that. standing. I'm still standing. Yes, Lord. By the grace of God, oh, I'm still standing. Yes. Um, can you say that? I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Glory to God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank See, you people God. don't understand. They don't they think that when you get over here, especially when you stand up here behind this podium, they think that everything's so wonderful in your life. When you've been to the point of having nervous breakdowns, you're about to lose it all. Glory to God. You had to get extra help and yet still standing. Still standing. All right. I had to get that out. I just, I, I had to get that out. Glory to God. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And guess what? Even while you're standing, it's going to get better and better. And not only is it going to get better, but you're going to get better. Hallelujah. Come on, can you tell somebody you're going to get better? You're going to get better. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. So I want to ask you to turn with me to Romans chapter 3. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that divine interruption. Thank you, Jesus. And I want to begin reading at verse 23. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 3. And verse 23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as a propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate the, his righteousness. Because in his forbearance, God had passed over the sins that were previously committed to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. Now, I want to talk from this point for just a few minutes. Uh, I'm not going to be long today. And I really believe that a whole lot was said to inspire and to encourage you. And that was certainly my prayer. Amen. That you would be inspired today and that you would be encouraged. Hallelujah. But I um, want to talk uh, from this point that uh, the blood paid for it. The blood paid for it. Um, now, in our text, where we start out at, uh, Paul says here that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So nobody can claim within themselves to be holy, to be righteous uh, of themselves. You know, because we have this opinion of ourselves and and not what we were talking about earlier, because earlier what we were speaking of is understanding who you are and the image you were created. Uh, therefore, and because God is the Almighty and there is none greater than He, uh, He that created you has created you for greatness. Amen. Thank you for that one. Amen. Glory to God. God amen. did not create you to lose. He didn't create you for failure. He didn't create you for disappointment. And even though those things happen in life, yet God created you for greatness. Amen. Greatness is not seen uh, just in uh, the fact that you did not ever fail or that you become flawless. But glory to God, greatness is seen sometimes in the person who fell down, getting up again and again and again. No matter how many times they've fallen, they keep getting up. Hallelujah. Uh, because your, the greatness or the measure of you uh, is not seen just in uh, whether or not you've ever fallen. And now the person who thinks that they have never fallen is probably deceived anyways. Uh, amen. But uh, it's measured by how many times you consistently keep getting up. Tell somebody, just keep God, just keep, keep, keep getting up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, just yes, keep getting yes, up. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. So, 
All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, Paul says here, and being justified freely, being made justified, being justified freely. It was without any cost, any restraint. And, and when it, it says here that it's without any cost, without any cost on our part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Without any cost on our part. This justification is not something you pay for. And why am I taking this kind of message? Because it sounds so theological. Well, uh, this kind of message, especially during this time of the year, is to remind us and help us to look at ourselves and life a different way. Amen. To understand uh, that not only are you not a loser, but a winner. But understand, glory to God, that because we were born in sin, we were born uh, with uh, 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 an imperfect nature. But yet we were created by a perfect God. So, amen, we're born with an imperfect nature, but because of the shed blood of Jesus, amen, all of our imperfections, all of our sins, past, present, and future, are already paid for. So to be justified means to be declared righteous in God's sight. Or as someone told me once, to be just as if. Uh, how they broke down. It was a breakdown of the word justified. Just as if. I had never seen. And uh, propitiation means uh, the appeasement of divine wrath by sacrificial offering. Understand that in God's righteous judgment, you were supposed to die for your sins. Amen. You were supposed to pay a great price for what you did. Amen. Amen. But God, because he loves us, because he is merciful, yeah. hallelujah, oh, yeah. sent Jesus to die because he knew that with us being born into sin, that we had no cure in ourselves for sin. No matter how hard you try to never sin at some point, God. you're going to miss it. My God. Yes. So God said, listen, because I'm holy and because I can't tolerate sin and sin must be punished, then I'm going to send Jesus to suffer, bleed, and die, and raise again, so that sin would be paid for eternally. God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Your redemption was something that took place eternally. Amen. You were not just saved in this life until you turn, turn 21. Glory to God. But he paid for it. He justified you, declared you as righteous before the Father throughout all eternity. Because if it wasn't for the blood, eternity wouldn't be yours today. You wouldn't be on your way to heaven if it wasn't for the blood. Amen. 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 So we are freely justified. We didn't have to pay for this. But by his grace, God's unmerited favor. Because God is loving and he never stops being loved. That's one of the things I appreciate so much about God. God cannot ever be unloving. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. God can never be unloving. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now that all by itself blesses me. See, because we, we have this thing when we sin. We feel that, there, that there's a amount of guilt. And there should be. There, there should be. There should be. Uh, because if you can see it and you feel nothing behind it, oh, oh that's a huge problem. <laughs> that's a huge problem. Amen. When you do something wrong, uh, just like when children do something wrong, uh, there should never be a time where children feel like they can do whatever they want to do. No right. consequences. Mm -hmm. That's right. Do my own thing. Forget mom and dad. I'm my own person. I'm my own individual. Or, or as they said now, I'm my own pronoun. <laughs> that is so wicked. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is so devilish. Uh, but I believe that every human being needs to have the sense that there are consequences for your action. Glory to God. But I love the system that God put together. 
First of all, he sent Jesus to shed his blood and die for our sins, to pay for the sins in full, Amen. forever. Yeah. Then because of the shedding of his blood, he actually made the blood of Jesus and what Jesus actually did, the mercy seat for us. So that because of what he did, there would consistently be mercy. Yes, yes. Where we can get set free from whatever it is we're caught up in. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that because of the shedding of the blood and the blood paid for it, you don't have to go through your life feeling guilty all the time. Mm -hmm. And as I said earlier, that when you do mess up, there ought to be guilt. And there ought to be guilt that drives you to Jesus. There ought to be guilt that drives you to the cross. There ought to be guilt that makes you go to God every time. Because as Psalm 32 says in verse 5, that when he forgave me, he also took away the iniquity or the guilt of my sin. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He didn't just say, oh, it's okay, don't worry about it. No, 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 no. Now, he said, I already took care of it. Mm. I paid for this. Yeah. I provided for this. Y'all hear the stories about people who go into the store, and somebody goes before them, and Shaquille O'Neal is one person who's famous for it, and they'll pay for somebody's grocery, or they'll pay their entire bill. Yes, amen. But when they get to the counter, they don't have to put up a penny. Not a penny. Why? Because it's been paid for. Yes. You realize that that is what God says regarding you? It's already been paid for. And because it's been paid for, you don't have to sin. Thank you, Lord. Because it's been paid for, you don't have to live in a manner as an unloved person would. <laughs> so being freely justified by his grace through the redemption, you've been ransomed. Christ has been paid for your sins. And this is in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as a propitiation. Now, the propitiation, as we were saying, is the appeasement of divine wrath without sacrificial offering. Do you realize that if Jesus had not died for your sins, if he had not shed his blood, all that you would have to look forward to is God's wrath? Mm. The scripture says it's a terrible thing yes. to fall into the hands of an angry God. Yes. And understand, God ain't always happy with everything you do. All right, man. Come on now. But because of the blood, because of the blood. And he's always pleased with who you are. Okay, somebody say, hey. well, come on now. Why? You know, why, why? Why? Because. I may not like everything that my children do. Matter of fact, some things just make me cringe that they do. But that never makes me stop loving them. Amen. And it never changes who they are to me. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So uh, my love for them causes me to forgive them and discipline and teach them. That's what God did to Jesus. He allowed them to pay, he allowed him rather to pay for the sin fully and completely so that we can live in the freedom. Come on, tell somebody says, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. To live in the freedom we've been given through Christ. Now, the idea is clearly implied by the Greek word for propitiation. And is the only saving solution to the fact of God's wrath against sin that Paul developed in uh, the uh, first chapter of Romans through the third chapter. And at the heart of the gospel is the fact that in Christ, uh, Christ did not bear the wrath of God that we deserve, but we should have paid for it. But instead, Jesus did. Come on, tell somebody, I'm glad Jesus paid for it. I'm glad that Jesus paid for it. For it. Then the wrath is still, would be still stored up if he had not done it. The idea of propitiation is also widely described in Isaiah. Uh, when he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of his peace was, uh, of our peace was laid upon him, and by his stripes we healed. 
blood is a reference to Christ's death as a substitute sacrifice for us. Amen. Christ's blood poured out is clear evidence that his life was given for us. So as you go through this holiday season, as you go home, as you deal with life on a daily basis, understand that not only was Christ's blood shed to pay for your sins, but also to empower you as a born-again, blood-washed, spirit-filled believer. Okay, Pastor, we get all of that. That's good information. Where are you going with this? Because there's so many things that we encounter this type of this time of year, especially in families, especially as it relates to grief. But just as God allowed Jesus to shed his blood to pay for our sins in full, you got to learn how to use the same blood. Say the same blood. The same blood. And put the blood, we say apply and appropriate the blood, but to put the blood on everything involving your life. Because see, if the blood can change your life and make things right in your heart, then the blood can fix the situation that you struggle with. Amen. Amen. I believe that with our faith, we can come to the point where we put the blood over everything. Amen. You got to put the blood on everything. Whether it's a struggling relationship, wayward children, more bills than money, put the blood on it. Put the blood on it. Put the blood. Glory to God. If there was any time that uh, blood money was okay, is money covered by the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Put the blood on them. Put the blood on them presents. Let me say that again. Put the blood on them Christmas presents. All right now. I just had laugh like she already did that. Put the blood on them. Put the blood on Y'all think I'm playing? Put the blood on them. Hallelujah. Put blood on them. The blood of Jesus has redeemed us, justified us, saved our life. The blood of Jesus brings healing. It brings deliverance. The blood of Jesus makes things right in our life. Put the blood on it. Put the blood on it. Please know that God is concerned about everything in your life. Everything that affects, that involves you, God's concerned about. And God wants to make everything in your life right. Praise Amen. God. Amen. God doesn't want you struggling. No. God don't want you having chest pains, oh, full of anxiety, worried and upset. God don't want you about to crack up and lose it. No. Because there's so much pressure on you. Open up your mouth and put the blood on it. Put the blood on it. I guarantee you'll see changes, just like you saw changes with you when the blood was applied. Put the blood on it. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Hallelujah. God bless you. God keep you. I pray that some things were said to really encourage and inspire you today. And as I said, it certainly was not my intention at all to hold you long. Uh, not that I didn't have that to talk about. I got some more to talk about. Oh, but <laughs> I want to uh, obey what I believe is the Holy Spirit's direction. Amen. And uh, uh, just share with you those things that I pray has encouraged you, has inspired you. And uh, pray that you've been given some things that you can take home. All right. uh, please, let, don't let us be like those who hear uh, a word when we come here and go home and we forget everything we heard. Take it home. Take it home. 
Just go around the house and start applying the blood to things. Everything be ain't right. Uh, just come on, put the blood on it. Put the blood. When grades at school, put the blood on it. And then start studying more. Put the blood on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, put the blood on it. And then do your homework. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the blood on it. Oh, I must have hit something here. Glory to God. Put the blood on it. Put the blood on it. And then get up and go to work. Put the blood on it. And stop spending up all the bill money. Put the blood on the money. And then manage it right. Glory to God. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Put the blood on it. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Put the blood on that marriage and stop treating your spouse like an enemy. Hallelujah. Put the blood on it. Thank you, Jesus. Put the blood on it. Woo, my God. Put the blood on it. On that business idea. And then start putting things together, getting information. Get a plan, get a business plan after you put the blood on it. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you and praise you for your word today. I thank you, Lord, for those that are watching my live stream and those that are here in the audience today. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, that you would cover us in the blood of Jesus. We apply and appropriate the blood of the Lamb to every area of our lives, every situation in our lives. And Father, I pray that you would continue to help us to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord, I pray that your word continues to work in us. Let your word, Father God, be engrafted within our hearts. And Father, we'll continue to give you all the praise glory and honor in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. God bless you. Again, we thank God so much for you and uh, for your uh, viewing with us and worshiping with us again today. And um, got a little while yet. We're not ready yet. Um, we want to, as we do every week, uh, to receive the Lord's Supper, uh, take communion. And I want you to prepare yourselves at home or wherever you may be viewing uh, to partake with us. And um, we believe that communion here, we believe that it is a weapon, that it is not just uh, something that we do ritually or traditionally. Uh, but there's not only um, meaning to what we do, but there is inherent power uh, with our faith in what it is. Uh, Jesus has left for us to do and has provided for us. Amen. So we're asking you, uh, if you will, to prepare yourselves and let us partake together. Uh, thank you, Lord God. And also want to encourage you uh, that are watching uh, that if you want to give to this ministry, if God speaks to your hearts, please go to the Evangel Christian Church's website in that upper right hand corner. If you push the button, it'll scroll down to donate. If you push that button, it'll show you the ways that you can donate. So please, as God speaks to your heart, uh, please sow into this ministry and make an earmark for EMI. So they'll know that monies will be uh, noted for Evangel Ministries International. Thank you in advance and God bless you uh, for that. Amen. The Bible says that the night that the Lord Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and he gave thanks. Father, thank you. This bread that resembles your broken body. We thank you for the sacrifice, even the ultimate sacrifice you paid for all of our sicknesses and sins. And today we give you thanks. And after giving thanks, he broke it. He told him, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. And in the same manner, he took the cup. He gave it thanks. Thank you, Lord, for this cup that resembles your shed blood, the blood of the covenant, of the new covenant. Thank you for your blood that ratifies or makes good the covenant that we have with you. Thank you that we have access, hallelujah, to every privilege and promise because of the blood. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you. So, Father, we thank you and give you praise uh, for your shed blood that paid the price for our sins, past, present, and future. And we give you glory for 
And after giving thanks, he told them to drink ye all of it. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show forth the Lord's death till he comes. Hallelujah. God bless you. God keep you again. We thank you so much uh, for watching with us. And uh, as we said, uh, next Sunday, we encourage you to be at home with your families for Christmas Day. Hallelujah. Uh, so we will not uh, be here next Sunday afternoon. And then also, uh, the first day of the new year, uh, we will not be at New Year's Day because uh, Pastor Miss and I will be uh, celebrating our anniversary, wedding anniversary. Hallelujah. And so we are uh, so glad delighted for that. And, um, but we will be right back and right into action and ready to go uh, during that time of celebration uh, because we want to be examples as well. Uh, we preach and pray and prophesy, uh, but we should also have time with our family. Amen. 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 Oh, that was a word right there. <laughs> we preach and pray and prophesy, but we can't forget about home. Uh, glory to God. Yes. So, hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Uh, so, amen. Amen. Uh, we thank the Lord for all that he's doing in our lives and just thank you for all of his goodness. Again, God bless you, and God keep you. Thank you so much for watching today, and we will be back uh, shortly, as we said, after the New Year's. Come on, please, that's right, anybody. Amen. We love you to life. Have a great day in Jesus. Amen. There you go, guys. That was Pastor Lance and Ernest Travis's message on this week's episode of Kingdom Collaboration Thursdays. Now, he did say he will not be there for Christmas and New Year's Day, celebrating his wedding anniversary, and Christmas celebrating with friends, with family. So, for those two weeks, we may not have an episode, but I can go back into the YouTube, not YouTube, but the Facebook archives, and I can probably find one from way back when. So, don't worry, it might have an idea, but if I don't, then it is what it is. We just don't have a show for a couple of weeks. We just don't do uh, a Kingdom Collaboration Thursdays, unless I can find one that I can do a throwback with. I might be able to do a throwback as well. So I might have to do a couple throwbacks as well. But let me see what's going on, and I will get back with you guys after a while. When I find out what's going on with what's going on. So I said that real time, real fast, three times. Until I found out what's going on, what's going on, what's going on. Our next song on the list is not Unknown Artist. It is called Clean, Clean Heart by none other than Pastor Evangelist Billy Smith. Enjoy Clean, Clean Heart.
There you go, guys. That was clean, clean heart, but none other than my guest on the show, Pastor Evangelist Buffy Smith. Let's get into our next song. It is It's Not Goodbye. We got three more to play. We're going to play two. We're going to pray. We're going to play the last one. It, our next song is It's Not Goodbye by none other than DK Daniels. No, It's Not Goodbye is done by my friend and guest on the show, The Light Warrior. Enjoy It's Not Goodbye. Wait a minute, let me make sure I got that song right. Oh, sorry. It is no secret. That's what it is. It is no secret but none other than my friend for over 16 years, Dr. Prophet Larry Orell. Enjoy It Is No Secret. The chimes of time Bring out the news Another day is through Someone slipped and fell Was that someone you You may have long For added strength Your courage to renew Do not be What is done for others, he'll do for you. With arms wide open, he'll pardon you. It is no secret what God. sight you'll never walk alone man you'll always feel at home no matter where you roam there is no power can conquer you while God is by your side take him that his promise done for others he'll do for you with arms wide open he'll pardon you it is no secret what God can do it is no secret what God can do. There you go, guys. That was It Is No Secret What God Can Do by none other than my friend for over 16 years, Dr. Prophet Larry Orell. Now we're going to play our next song, Pray, and then play the last one. And now our next song is It's Not Goodbye by my friend and guest on the show, The Light Warrior. Enjoy It's Not Goodbye.
There you go, guys. That was It's Not Goodbye by my friend and guest on the show, the Light Warrior. I got to fix my microphone. It's about to fall off. There we go. That's good. And again, that was It's Not Goodbye by my friend and guest on the show, the Light Warrior. So, let's pray. Let's pray. So we can end the show and on a good note. Because it's always good to end the show on a very, very, very good note. So, let's pray. Lord, we humbly come back before you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you are God and God alone. And that you, Lord, are having your way in this ministry. And Lord, I ask you to be with each and every listener as we depart and go our separate ways. As Gloria Gaither once said, as we go to our regular days. And Lord, I ask you to bless everyone at the sound of my voice that I'd not be what? Selfish. And give them their heart's desires as long as not be selfish. And Lord, I ask you to heal them from the tops of their heads to the soles of their feet from cancer, diabetes, which I have, muscular dystrophy, multiple sclerosis. Heal my mom's arm that's not frozen no more. And heal my sister's heart that's not bad no more. And Lord, Heal them from diseases that contract themselves through sin. Yes, HIV, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, herpes. Why? Because when you heal them, shows your mercy, your power, and your grace. And that you are real. I'm reminded of a scripture. It says you came through the door. It doesn't say in the scripture you open the door. It says you pass right straight through the door because you're all spirit at that moment. He said, Thomas, look at my hands. Rest your finger on my side and see that I'm God. What Thomas was doing on his knees said, Truly, you are the Son of God. And what did you say? Blessed are those who have seen and believed. But it doesn't stop there. It says, Blessed are those who have not seen yet still believe. So show them now, Lord, so when they come back needing absolutely anything, they won't have to say it to see it to believe it. Because your word again, Lord, says, I'm reminded of another scripture that says, You're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. So show them now, Lord, when they come back needing absolutely anything, they won't have to say it to see it to believe because they'll say if I've seen it then, they'll do it again. We thank you, we praise you, and we honor you. It's all in the matchless name of Christ that we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Boom, boom, boom. Amen, doom, doom, doom. Amen, amen, amen. Our last song for the show is Hosanna by none other than my guest, my friend, and worship leader for over 19 years, Dr. Tom Ray. Enjoy, Hosanna. As Jesus came into the town, the people were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord.
Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Jesus. There you go, guys. That was Hosanna by none other than Dr. Tom Ray, my friend for and worship leader for over 19 years. Two things to remind you before we end that show. First thing I want to say is, you know why he rode into town on a donkey? See, this, the scripture says that he rode into town on a donkey while everyone's throwing palm branches down, yelling, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Now, why did he do such a thing? He wasn't doing it to show off. As in, look at me, look at me, look at me. And had that kind of an attitude. He actually did that to show his deity. To show off his deity. To show that, yes, I'm a man, but when I come back again, I'll be God. He was showing his deity. He was essentially doing what the scripture says, go out and preach the gospel. He was preaching the gospel right there. He was showing his deity to the world. They knew who he was. And that's why he did that. So with that being said, two things to remind you. Number one, download that app. It's called Podcast Portal. Spelled P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L. Available on the Google Play Store, the Amazon App Store, and the App Toys Market. Also, guys, ask your, you can do all these wonderful things with it. Ask your Alexa device, say Alexa, open Podcast Portal, and she'll say welcome to, or welcome back to Podcast Portal, where you can listen to this very show straight from your Alexa devices. We also got that skill for your video Alexa devices as well. Again, say Alexa, open Podcast Portal, and she'll say welcome to, or welcome back to Podcast Portal. And that does, guys, conclude our announcements for today. As always, this is TGIF reminding you to, one, trust in the Lord in all your ways, two, lean out to your own understandings, and three, in all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. Thank you, and good night.